Should I hit driver? The answer to this age old question is yes, you should. At least that's our recommended default answer. Gone are the days of fearing the longest club in the bag. If you're facing down a par four or par five, the numbers show us that driver is almost always the smarter play. So get confident with the big dog and give it plenty of use. But we did say almost always, because there are times when the big stick just doesn't make sense. Four instances where you should think twice about hitting a driver. Number one, there's a force carry. This one's pretty simple. If there's a hazard in your way that you can't cover with driver, hit the longest club you know will stay short of that hazard. Number two, the fairway squeezes. If the fairway is narrow the entire way, you're probably better off ripping driver. But if a wide fairway suddenly squeezes in right where your driver would land, yeah, think twice. Number three, driver leaves an awkward shot. Some players don't mind a 50 yard pitch shot, but some golfers get sweaty palms just reading the phrase 50 yard pitch shot. Getting closer is almost always better, but some specific holes or playing styles fare better by leaving a full wedge into the green. In other words, leave it 100 yards out. And number four, your opponent is out of bounds. The lowest possible score is almost always the goal, but sometimes bogey is more than enough to win your match. If all you need to do is keep the ball in play and driver makes you squeamish, permission granted, iron it is. I'd go with the four iron. Maybe a six iron. Heck, you can even go down to eight iron, which will go about 130 to 150. Mine goes 154 approximately. If I hit that twice, that's 300. Yeah, that's a good choice. Really smart, just keep it in the middle. And I've got one last one. This is my personal experience. I hit the driver off the deck very well. I've done it a bunch of times, but I will say one time, one time when I was leading a tournament, I hit the driver off of uh, just a dirt path, thinking I had a lot of space to give. It was a very good choice. I didn't realize that hitting the dirt instead of hitting grass, that it will not give. And so it just bounced off the ground. I topped my ball. I ended up hitting it out of bounds after that. I totally fell apart. That was my bad. That's my personal experience. Great story, by the way. Let me know, what do you guys think? Are there any other times and places where maybe you shouldn't hit your driver? Let me know. Oh.